1 of Peter 4. 1 of Peter 4 verse 1 gives us a challenge which is so high that the height of it alone should inspire us and give us something to aim towards every moment. We're asked to have the same mind as Jesus had when he was hanging on the cross. Peter says, For as much then as Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind. Now Paul gives us the same challenge in the Philippians when he tells us to let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus at the time of his final sufferings and death. So <clears throat> this is what it is to be a Christian, to have the mind of Christ. We don't look to Jesus as religious people look to an icon or a holy picture as, as if he did it all for me. And I just look at him there with respect and some gratitude. No, it's more than that. The mind he had then is to be in us. He really suffered and died on a day in April, on a Friday afternoon, on a hill outside Jerusalem, 2000 or whatever years ago. And there is, as it were, a bridge between him there and me here today. I can have his mind. I can look at this world with his eyes, feel love to my enemies, forgive those who hate me, give my life for others. This means that all of my sufferings and experiences are part of his sufferings on the cross. This is why he suffered so much and so intensely. So that no man can ever legitimately complain, nobody knows how I feel, nobody has been through what I've been through. Perhaps truly nobody on this earth has been through what you've been through and nobody on the earth can understand you. But there is somebody who can and that is Jesus. And so Peter writes, in so much as you are partakers of Christ's sufferings, rejoice that at the revelation of his glory, you also may rejoice with exceeding joy. We share in his sufferings, just in a few ways. If you've been rejected by your friends, by your family, by your nation, so was Jesus. If you've been falsely accused, if you've been wrongly judged, so was Jesus on the cross. Do you have intense pain in any part of your body? So did Jesus on the cross. And because we suffer with him, we shall also be resurrected with him and we will live with him eternally. Our sufferings are actually a, a guarantee of that.